Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how one super simple line of code can update the bullet points on your Squarespace website to anything you want them to be. We can also specify if we're using paragraph text or your header text, so you can have a couple of different types of bullet points available automatically in your Squarespace website. It is one simple line of CSS that we're going to use, but I really want to mention this is pretty important. It works for any version. If you're using Squarespace 7 site, like a Brine or a Bedford theme template or the latest version of 7.1, this tutorial is still going to work for you. All you need to know is the code name of the type of text you'd like to specify this bullet point for. So uh, paragraph text, for example, that can get one type of bullet point and your heading to text can get a different type of bullet point. I'll show you what part of the code to change when we hop into my demo site and get started here. I also want to mention you can change this bullet point to absolutely anything you want it to be. You can type in new text, you can use a Unicode character, and I have a whole list of Unicode characters available on my own site at insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode. Those are ones that I've tested in Chrome browsers and Safari and on mobile devices, so I know that they're visible at least on the devices I've tested them on. Anywho, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is a CSS tutorial. Let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how the CSS code breaks down. So here we are in my demo site and I have a paragraph two or normal paragraph text over here on the left. And then on the right hand side, I also have heading two text. I wanna make sure you see both of them side by side so you understand what part of this code to change to make it work for your own site. So let's hop over to our custom CSS. We're gonna select design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we'll be pasting the code that is beneath the video. Now the first part of this code is the same no matter what type of text you're editing. We're just going to say UL and then open up a square bracket and say data-rte-list, close up that square bracket, and then we're gonna say LI, add the greater than symbol. And this is the part where we're going to add a letter to specify which type of text we're isolating. Let's start with paragraph. I'll just add the letter P, which is going to be that paragraph two normal text over there. Then I'm going to say first child before and open up a curly bracket. Now here is where we're actually adding the content. I'm just going to type in the text content and I'm gonna grab this Unicode character that I've already got and put it between quotation marks there and check it out. Now I have fancy stars for all of my bullet points. Now a cool thing that you can do is you can also change the color and the size of those individually and not affect the rest of your list. So if I want those stars to be blue, for example, I can add a semicolon and say color blue, or I can change it to that shade of teal that I love so much, that 50 BDB8, and now there'll be that bright shade of teal. Any type of possibility there. I can also reduce the size by adding a semicolon and saying font dash size, let's say 0.8 REM. It's gonna shrink them down for me a little bit. So you have a lot of different options there that will only apply to that bullet point. So as great as this is, I'm gonna go ahead and make these a little bit larger again because I like seeing that star. There we go. This is how we're gonna change it to apply to only the H2. We'll remove this letter P and we'll type H2 instead. Check it out. My heading two text now has those stars instead of bullet points. So if you want to apply this to every single type of bullet point, no matter what type of text it is, all you have to do is remove that part right there and add an asterisk symbol. This is a fancy computer browser way of saying, apply this to all the things. So that's the way that you can update that to apply to all of those. Now I do wanna stress again, I just pasted this Unicode star character in here. I can make this a plus sign if I want to. I can make this literally say the word anything and it will be the bullet point right there. Whatever you decide to go with, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And don't forget for a full list of Unicode characters, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode. Here, I have a list of all of the Unicode characters that I found to be compatible with both Chrome as well as Safari, as well as a couple of different mobile devices here. Everything from numbers to check marks, punctuation, um, miscellaneous symbols, even hieroglyphics. There's all kinds of stuff there. So that's it for this tutorial. The codes that I just showed you are listed in the description below. And again, that list of Unicode characters that I have found to be compatible is available at insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
if you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.